Given an angle, the sine and the cosine of the angle, and the sine and the cosine of the reference angle are closely related. In fact, they're identical, except that one of them might be positive while the other is negative or vice versa. Let's investigate this. Let's look at theta equals a two pi divided by three. This puts us in the second quadrant and the reference angle is this which is pi divided by three. How do I know that? Now it's because the full angle from here to here is pi. And I've taken that angle and I've broken it into two pieces, this piece and this piece. And these pieces together have to make pi. So if this is two pi over three, this must be pi over three. Here is the angle two pi divided by three. And here is the point that determines the sine and the cosine. The sine is the y coordinate of this point. The cosine is the x coordinate of this point. Now, here's pi divided by three. The y coordinate of this point is this vertical distance. So the sine of two pi divided by three is this vertical distance. The sine of pi divided by three is this vertical distance. And I hope it's clear just looking at this picture that this line segment and this line segment have the same lengths. These y coordinates are the same. Likewise, when you look at the x coordinates of these points, well, these horizontal line segments have the same length. So the x coordinates are almost the same. Not quite, though. This x coordinate is negative. This x coordinate is positive. See, negative 0.5, positive 0.5. The y coordinates are the same. And the y coordinates are the sine of 2 pi over 3 and the sine of pi over 3. The x coordinates are the same, except that this is negative and this is positive. And the x coordinates are the cosine of pi over 3 and the cosine of two pi over three. So we found that the sine of two pi over three equals the sine of pi divided by three 
And we know what that is. It's the square root of three divided by two. And the cosine of two pi divided by three is the negative cosine of pi divided by three. So it's negative one half. And you can use reference angles sometimes to find the sine and the cosine of angles whose sine and cosine you have not committed to memory. These are the signs and the cosines you committed to memory, and we were able to use them to find this sign and this cosine.